with the third hole, guys. I'll see your two birdies, and I'll raise you Leona Maguire from the middle of the fairway. Pars on her first two holes, and then this, an early candidate for shot of the tournament, in for an eagle, too. That's one way. Then bounce back with a birdie at the second, and then this approach at the third hole, notoriously difficult par four, all the way up the slope. And from the player's perspective, they won't be able to see, and she didn't see, just how good this second shot was. She did roll under, she was through three, and ate another birdie at the fifth. There's something going on with this third hole because here's her Jin Choi, and what a final day she had last week in Thailand. Eight under the last 11 holes to finish third. This was her approach up the hill at three. Didn't look that great when it first finished, but here it comes, edging closer and closer. What a shot from the South Korean star. She would make birdie to get... On Ayanami, the rookie season on the LPGA Tour this year after her win at the Toto Japan Classic the end of last year. Third shot. And I would say that was pretty accurate. Down the hill, this is a great hole, this little par three. Very picturesque from up the top. Moving to her left. Oh, easy as you like. Three under par through four holes. Four strokes in two take advantage of the slope on the left hand side and get it close it plays five yards up here at number three it's a lot of elevation change with the approaches here on the Tanjong course and this could work out pretty well underneath the hole importantly as well so a chance for a birdie for the world number one we're seeing most of the players this is a great spot to be putting from unlike Alison Lee she can attack this and attack it she does so foo into red figures with that birdie on the th slopes the contours on the green and bring it back towards the hole if you ask Le leona mcguire this is this is makeable this one <laughs> this could end up very very close for jin young ko oh, what a terrific shot she said her goal this year is to remain injury free and to enjoy herself easy with this whole location today this will help jin young ko get back to even par that's a lovely three The eighth hole, par five. A couple of big hits to this point. This is quick coming down the hill for the 2021 US Women's Open champion. Nicely played to get her into. Right. Grip. This club has been working for Minji Lee. Oh, you caught it, Sophie. That's a lovely seven. This for Birdie to balance the books. She's got it. Oh, brilliantly hold. That's a good two because it's a huge green, the seventh. I almost prefer the angle of Ronnie Yin's second shot to Vu's, but well, that's how good she is. The read right on this one snaps to the left. She has, no surprise. No one puts better than her statistically to under par. Second shot to the second hole. Nice par on the opening. And unable to see just how good that was. And look at that, rolling up beautifully to the hole. It's a blind second if your drive doesn't go far enough. Tapping. Staying on the second, the winner last year at the Dana Open, her rookie season, Lynn Grant to one under par. Then this birdie part at the fifth at par five. No problem for her. Well, these insights are brought to you by KPMG. And as we have a look at Lydia Ko, and this is regarding her first two starts of the season, where it really couldn't have done any better, a win and second place. We look, the SG is the strokes gained, and that's how much better she putted than everybody else in the field. And uh, you have a look there at the putt, strokes game putting per round. You're picking up a shot every round and nearly two shots when she was second place, in fact, and losing in a playoff to Nelly Korda. Yeah, that is that is quite ironic. So she has putted better than the field in the week she finished second. Just goes <laughs> to show you how only five paces from the right, this flag. Water all the way down the left-hand side. 180 yards today. Oh, this is good. Nearly very, very good. Grant, big hitting Swede. Not much in this. Oh, very nicely hooked. Yang at 15. Woo. No problems for Amy. 
no buck. 203 yards, does play downhill. Tough hole, we haven't seen too many within 20 feet here as yet. That is a cracking shot from the French woman. Well, that is it. One around here a few years ago. Oh, she's the only player on the LPGA Tour to rank in the top 10 in ball. Be at seven, doesn't it? Well done, Celine Boutier. That'll get her into... This will be handy for Co. This for Birdie at eight. Yes. Oh, well done. Well done, Brooke Henderson. Par. Now Fu into ten. Start this at the middle. Try and turn it over a smidge. That was heavy. Yeah, you've seen that a couple of times from Lilia today. Just getting a little up the left. So the right side of the fairways are speed slots here as we join Lilia Vu pitching into that tenth and again very hard to stop it coming out of that rough landing on a down slope chunked it with the approach that's for the up and down that is a handy four lpga victories as well liana mcguire three under through four today just been treading water since but not there also to move to two under par through nine holes up the hill moving right right in the middle then at the tenth and a rough start, three over par, but she's steadied the ship a little bit, trying to draw it in there. And a really classy shot, best one we've seen from the Canadian. Interesting, isn't it, looking at the... On the left side of the fairway, so that ball's going to be below her feet, trying to get to a left flag. You can always see that just leaking out a fraction right. No harm done, though. Jin Young Ko has won this event twice. And this now is for a birdie for Ko. Could do with this going in and is looking very good indeed. That's a great roll from Ko and a smile on the face. A shortened too, but not an overly complicated pitch shot. Just pitch it past that trap. Get a little check on it, just like that. After that lovely pitch shot from just short of the green. Oh dear. It's opening round. Now up to the par 5 13th and Lynn Grant's third. Oh, and a good one at that. And getting better. Birdie after that lovely pitch into the 13th. Oh, yes, well done. Henselite's got company at three under par. The team, so this now third shot. Overly complicated from this spot. Very nicely judged there. Surprise me, Kane. I mean, they have produced a lot of great golfers. Remember, we had Shan Shan Feng in the box a couple oh, last year. Wasn't that an absolute delight as Hatooka scares? Lawrence is pretty happy, though. Yeah, absolutely. Drive for show putt for Doe. This would be a good putt for Lilia Vu. All oh, down the slope at 12. That is excellent. Wow. Well, what a year it has. You know, this, could, this round could get away from her. Meanwhile, at 14, Lynn Grant pours that one in to take the outright lead at four under par. Bogey free today for the lead shot into this back right pin on 14. Can she convert for a birdie three? Of course she can. Gets herself into. Oh, brilliant. Well, she had a 64 in Saudi Arabia a couple of weeks ago, and that showed us how. 2 1 depart. Edge. From 139 yards. You've got to hoist this one up high into the air and hope it lands softly like just that. like that. <laughs> 13th is Ronning Yin. It's tracking nicely. It's tracking beautifully, and in it goes. Surprised even herself. Goodness me. Pitching wedge, just a tap in birdie. Not many threes to be had on the 12th hole, but one right there for Minji Lee. Middle section of the green, just on the right-hand side of her spine. So this one will want to just drift a little right, but she's matched up the line and pace beautifully there. Even with bunkers protecting both sides of the fairway, the 13th hole at Sentosa Golf Club values the approach more than the tee shot. While the cost of missing the fairway here is minimal, the Aeon Insight tells us that the better decision on this hole is the second shot. Over the past two years, only 29% of the field have gone for the green in two. 
However, those who've taken on the risk have benefited greatly by gaining nearly a quarter of a stroke on the field. In last year's final round, Jin Young Ko was one of only two players to go for the 13th green, despite holding the lead. That decision and subsequent birdie lifted her win probability from 67 to 99%, all but locking up the victory with five holes to play. Ireland. It's Leona Maguire this at the 16th hole. She'll play all these par fives the conventional way. But only one shot off the pace, and that is a beauty. Par 3, 15th. Jin Young Ko flag over on the right hand side. Right hand. And slip it underneath the ball. Oh, that is magical. Oh. That is such a good shot. The sound, the contact, you could always tell that was going to have some zip on it. Move right to left on Jin Young Ko. Landing on that front edge. Oh, and trying. Trying to see if the hole would gobble it up. This would be a very good putt for Leona Maguire. Not a problem. So a dominant player is an amateur. So I'm cut playing, finding a couple of birdies in the last three holes. Par putt coming back up the slope for Ko at 15. A little right. Oh, right in the middle. That's a gutsy up and down. Looking good. That's a solid approach. It's downhill all the way and down green for Jin Young Ko to get herself back into red figures. Oh. Pours it in the middle. I think she likes it round here, Kate. <laughs> Just a bit. Looking up. All the way right here on 17, looking to hit some kind of slinging draw into this front hole location. A bit clumsy, just to keep her scorecard clean for the afternoon. Oh, well done. Sometimes those putts for par do more for your confidence. And holy approach on this par 5 16th. Oh, come on! Oh. Yeah, that's more like it. Yes, <laughs> one in a row. There, <laughs> there are birdies out there, not a problem for Patty last week. way to end for Fiji Lee. Still out on the golf course. Oh, that is very well played. And that is a good four from Patty. And still very much in the fray. The right of the eighth hole, if memory serves correctly. She will know. Okay, that's fine. Big putt, though, and it's a huge opportunity for Schmelzel. Oh, that looked like it was going to come back towards the hole, but how? And a very good two-putt to finish, and a very impressive start for Sarah Schmelzel, who will...